Hello, my name is Natalie8, and welcome back to Hardcore Season 2, Episode 10. In today's episode, I am going to do something a little spooky, a little scary, and I am going to take a trip into the nether for the very first time here in Hardcore Minecraft. I'm a little nervous, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be fine. I have been preparing to do this for quite a while here in my Hardcore world. Right now, I have a full set of diamond armor, as you can see, and each one of it is a uh, enchanted with protection four, which is going to be super duper helpful. I also have feather falling four on my boots, which is amazing. I can fall for a little bit without taking too much damage. I also have a pretty awesome sword. It's got sharpness five on it, and this axe is my favorite thing in the world. It's got smite five. With smite five, you can one hit kill zombies and skeletons. That is going to be very, very helpful. And I also have this bow that has power 5 and punch 2. And it's got infinity because I have not been able to collect very many arrows. Having a bow and arrow is going to be very helpful in the nether. But hopefully I can get in there and find a nether fortress not too far away from the portal. I don't want to do too much exploring around. But I do want to get blaze rods and maybe a few ender pearls from some endermen. That way I can eventually go to the end. Before I make my way into the nether though, I do need to collect obsidian. I do not have a single piece of obsidian to my name. And I remember there is a pool of lava that I turned into obsidian somewhere down in my mine, like all the way down at diamond mining level. And that's where I got the um, obsidian for the enchanting table that's in my house. So I will go and mine enough of that to make another portal. I think I need like 13 or so. I'll just mine up a bunch of obsidian because obsidian, it's also just a good thing to have if I ever want to make another nether portal because this probably won't be the only one I ever make to be honest. And <laughs> doesn't it look funny running down the stairs in this view? I've never looked at myself running down the stairs like this. I like I like that. Anyway, the lava, the obsidian should be right over here. I don't think there's any lava left. It's just all turned into obsidian. Yeah. Ah! There's, ah, there's some down there. So I'll have to put down some water uh, just in case. I don't want to lose any obsidian. So I will mine this until I've got enough. 56 obsidian here should be plenty of obsidian to make my portal and also do other things with this in the future. I went ahead and I just mined out all of the obsidian that was left in the lava pool. But anyway, let's go upstairs and we gotta find a place for the nether portal. I'm still not exactly sure where I'm gonna put that yet. Nether portals are kind of loud, so wherever I do put this thing, I want it to be a little bit tucked away so that I'm not hearing it all the time. I'm thinking behind this hut that I have on top of my zombie farm and the storage room, I should go behind here because spawn is basically just behind here. And I was thinking that would be a pretty good spot for the nether portal right here. It's far enough away to where I won't hear it all the time, but it's also not super duper far so that I'll never ever be able to find it. I can just build a path back here eventually. I'm going to break some of these flowers and kind of like move them closer to this hole in the mountain. This hole in the mountain is the very first shelter that I made here in the Hardcore Survival World. It's just a hole, like I said. So this will be a, a nice spot to build my nether portal. We'll do a 3x3 three three nether portal because that's what I like to do. I'll use some birch planks in the corners. And I also think that I did put a flint and steel in my inventory. 
so I can go ahead and light this. I won't go through it just yet though because I do, before I go into the nether, want to have a way of sorting out my inventory while I'm in there. And just recently, 1.21.2 uh, came out and that is bundles of bravery so now i should have bundles here in hardcore world so i do want to go and craft maybe three uh, or four of those so that i can have those while i'm in the nether and have a place to put some of the things that are in my inventory it's pretty easy to get a cluttered inventory so let's go to the barn and I think I might have some string. Hopefully I have some string. Otherwise, I'm going to have to hunt some spiders because bundles are going to be super duper helpful. Where is... Ah, uh, I don't have any leather. I wasn't expecting that problem. I was expecting uh, no string, which I still don't really know the answer to that. So let's grab this wheat and I guess we'll breed the cows and I will kill them for a little bit of leather. Now I have looting three on my sword, so it should be a little bit easier for me to get leather now. It's something that I've been struggling with a little bit here in the Hardcore Survival World. So how much leather are you gonna give me? Four pieces, nice. That's plenty, I'm only gonna kill two cows because they gave me eight leather and seven pieces of steak. That is perfect. I definitely don't need eight bundles. I'm thinking three is gonna be a pretty good amount to have. Now, where is my string? I am super excited to have bundles here in the hardcore world because I have been waiting very patiently for bundles for a very long time. There's my string and I have just enough to make three with one left over. So I'm pretty sure it's just like that. Yeah, yeah, bundles can hold a mixed stack of items. One, two, and three. Oh, I crafted them and they just like were put inside each other. I'm gonna store them like that until I have a bunch of things from the nether to put in there. But yeah, I guess it's time to go through that spooky and scary nether portal. Like I said earlier, I'm a little bit nervous, but I should be fine. I have my shield and I have my protection for armor all the way, and it's diamond armor. I've got my fancy axe and my fancy sword. I should be alright. Alrighty, it is time to step foot in the nether here for the very first time in Hardcore Season 2. I am nervous but excited. On my way over here, I went ahead and I grabbed a few stacks of cobblestone. That is going to be pretty helpful uh, for doing stuff in the nether. You need blocks pretty often in there. And I'm also going to grab my bow and put that next to my food for easy access. I have my arrows here in my inventory still. I've also got my flint and steel just in case my portal gets put out at any moment. I'm going to put my shield in the offhand, of course, that way I can protect myself a little bit easier. And I guess I will step inside. Oh my gosh. I am definitely nervous, but I'll be alright. And here goes nothing right into the portal. Hopefully we get a good spawn with a nether fortress somewhat nearby. Oh man, this is a terrible spawn. This is a terrible spawn. Are you kidding me? Well, I'm here. I'm in a basalt delta. Oh my goodness. I'll have a look around. I don't see another fortress anywhere nearby. I have no idea how I'm even going to get down from here. There's lava all below me. Oh my gosh, this is a terrible spawn. I don't know where to go. Any direction I go in, it seems very dangerous. There's a magma cube right there. 
If I can kill one of those guys and collect the magma cream, I can potentially make a fire resistance potion. I can't though. I need blaze rods as fuel. I always forget about blaze rods, but I do have a brewing stand that I found in a live stream I did in between the last episode and this episode. And yeah, I, I went back to that that village that I found in one of the first episodes. It was like episode two or three. It was abandoned, but for some reason I did not grab the brewing stand. I'm wondering, I don't remember, do ghasts spawn in basalt deltas? If they do, then like bridging out anywhere would be extremely dangerous. But I could try and like build a bridge with my cobblestone to somewhere. I just don't know which direction to go in. That way's north, that way's south. I think I'm gonna go south from the portal. It took so long to figure that out, but this is honestly the worst spawn. Hopefully I can be good enough at holding shift. This is gonna have to be a thin bridge because I don't have very much cobblestone. We'll try and go over there. Once I get over there, I'll have to be careful because there are those magma cubes and they can jump quite a distance. I wouldn't want one to attack me. We are almost there. Being over this lava is freaking me out a little bit. And my pinky is starting to hurt from holding shift. But we're almost there. The nether is like the worst place to go. I really hate it here. <laughs> it is not fun. Alright, now I can kind of just like go straight across. I wonder if I can get rid of this guy. I don't really want him to mess with me. He's going over there now. And now he's smaller. There we go, I made it to a solid chunk of land. Woo! It's kind of a long bridge. I should put a couple of torches on here. Oh my gosh. Spooky. That way we'll hopefully prevent things from spawning on there. Alrighty, we should go this way. The basalt elses are the worst. I can hear one of those magma cubes, but I can't see it. So I feel like it could pop out at me any second now. Because it's right there. Go away. Do not knock me into lava. That would be horrible. Now they're all baby ones. It's a good thing I have infinity because I only have three arrows. If I didn't have infinity, then this would be a little bit difficult. But there we go. And there's definitely more of these guys around. But I'm fine for now. Uh, I can cover up this lava. 
I hear a gas somewhere. There's like nether waste. That is a much better biome. Nether waste is a little bit easier to travel through. So I am definitely excited to have found that. Hopefully I can find a nether fortress here. Try and use my cobblestone to cover up some of this lava. There's another magma cube waiting for me. Ah, there we go. My first little pieces of magma cream. That is going to be very helpful in the future. Once I get some blaze rods, I can make uh, fire resistance potions. I gotta get rid of that gas before it starts to shoot at me. Oh my gosh, there's two of them! No! No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't like gas. Gotta see if I can shoot him from a distance. Because that was a big explosion. I also gotta be careful, I don't have any gold armor. I guess I should have thought about that. Man, I am not hitting that gas at all. There we go. He's gone. There was another one that shot at me. He was over here. I don't see him anymore. So I guess I'll be okay. And I gotta be careful of piglings. Those are zombie piglins. So that'll be fine. I don't see any nether fortresses. Should put a couple of torches to show that I've been here and that that is the way home. I do not want to get lost. It looks like there's a crimson biome. Oh my gosh, is that another fortress? It is. Yes. It was right in front of my face and I could just barely see it in the fog. But there's a crimson forest and a nether fortress. The nether fortress is exactly what I'm looking for. Perfect. I gotta make my way down here. It's a little bit of a drop off. I'm not sure how to deal with that. And there's also piglins. Hmm, I might want to go back through my nether portal, because I have a path straight here. Go back through my nether portal and grab some gold armor, that way I can make it through there a little bit easier. And maybe some gravel, because the gravel will fall to the ground, and I'll be able to get down a little bit easier. But I am so happy I found a nether fortress, because that is exactly what I need. I need to get blaze rods just a few of them and then get the heck out of there i might even like grab one or two blaze rods and then go back home use the brewing stand to make fire resistance potions because i do have this magma cream and then go get more blaze rods because i definitely do want to play it as safely as i possibly can but there we go there's the the uh, nether portal so the nether fortress is really not that far away. I just had to be brave and go across this basalt delta and bridge across the lava. That was very scary. Let's go grab some gold armor. I'm not sure what kind of gold armor I should grab. I should do a helmet because I do have the feather falling four on the boots that's gonna be very helpful 
since a gold helmet is definitely not as good as a diamond helmet, I am going to make sure I enchant it with protection 4, and I also am going to put unbreaking 3 and mending on there. I did have to take a little bit of a trip to the village to get the mending book. I already had protection 4 and unbreaking 3 in the chest, but I've been using a lot of mending books recently on my tools and on my armor, so I did have to get another one of those. Thankfully, I just had some in the chest, and I also have been killing these zombies because I realized I only had like four levels, so you usually need a little bit more than that to do this much adding things onto a piece of armor. I just got this though. That only has aqua affinity and unbreaking too. So we're going to put this in the chest with this leather tunic to be unenchanted and smelted for her a gold nugget and a little bit of extra experience later but yeah i'm gonna kill these zombies for just a little bit i'm not sure how many levels i'm gonna need to enchant that helmet but once i do enchant that now helmet we're gonna go back to the nether fortress because there is definitely some exploring that i have to do in there i need blaze rods blaze rods are gonna be very helpful so i will definitely be going back to the nether fortress all right, here we go again. I've got my helmet. I called it pig repellent. I thought that was funny, but here we go on another scary trip into the nether. This time I'm a little bit more prepared because I know the way to the nether fortress and I, I already have this like path marked off. I should add a little bit more cobblestone to here. But yeah, let's get this shield on. I have my uh, bow ready and we'll go across this. Ah, it's super spooky, but because it's diagonal, that's a little bit thicker. I'll go a little bit slower right here. And then I gotta go this way. And this way, the cobblestone marks the path, perfect. And there's piglins up here and I'm not gonna have to deal with them because I spent the time to get this helmet. I'm glad I did that, but now I got to go this way. I haven't even touched the nether fortress yet. It's right over there. You can just barely see it through the fog. I have these four cobblestone here, but I'm going to make sure that I have a full stack. And oh my gosh, I was going to grab some gravel. I forgot about this part. Because I have no way of getting down unless I just like drop down there. I have feather falling. I could just drop down there and build up a little staircase with cobblestone. But gravel was going to be easier. I don't want to go all the way back. So I am just going to trust the feather falling. It's not that long of a fall. Yeah, only half a heart. And this was supposed to be a staircase. <laughs> I'm definitely going to want a way back up, so I'll just do this right now. That actually worked out perfectly. I can place some torches on that. There we go. And another torch, even though it's pretty obvious which direction I need to go. And this is going to be a pretty easy break in into the nether fortress. Oh, I hear a ghast. Let's shoot him before he even notices me. If I can, go away, Ghast. I think he's just a little bit too far away. There we go, I got him. Big, giant, scary balloon thing. Let's go up here. I'm not gonna bother to staircase. I guess I can just break my way down. Staircasing takes a little bit of time. I hear another ghast. So I gotta break in here real quick. A terrible fortress. Terrible fortress indeed. I'm gonna go around and place cobblestone like this so that there's a, a two block gap to walk through right there. That is because the wither skeletons can't walk underneath that. So that'll be a little bit of a simple safety mechanism. All right, that's a dead end, so I gotta go this way. I guess that's how I tell that that's my exit. Hopefully I'll be able to find that later. Uh, another fortresses. 
are so spooky. Let's do that and check this chest. I got some obsidian, a saddle. That's cool. I don't know if I have a saddle yet. And nether wart. Yes. Nether wart is very useful. The only thing I need now to be able to brew potions is the blaze rod. So I gotta find some blaze. if there's any blaze up here this is a dead end yeah that's a dead end this away then i did not bring enough torches i just realized i've only got one of those left oh is that that's like a warped from from a warped tree a warp block that means there'll be endermen around here i need ender pearls so that's good Where's everybody at? There's nobody spawned in here. I hear an enderman. Since I've ran out of torches, I'm just going to put these cobblestone right next to my pickaxe. Three diamonds. Oh, that's a lot. And a golden chest plate. I don't really need that golden chest plate, but I guess I'll take it. What's down here? I just hope I can find, like, one blaze. Kill it. And then get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be able to come back with fire resistance. Eh? There's like nobody spawned in here. It's probably because there's so many endermen out there. Honestly, <laughs> this is the least scared I've ever been in another fortress. Where's everybody at? Wow, it looks spooky outside. But like, seriously, where's everybody at? I would at least like one blaze so that I could have blaze rods. I hear Blaze. I don't know where they're at, though. I don't have a hoe. That's the best block to use to break this. Oh, this is a whole tree. There's the log and everything. It's like poking up through the nether fortress. That's weird. I see a blaze over there. He's way over there. I gotta get over there. Don't hit me with the fire. I'll eat a steak and hold up my shield because he's gonna shoot fire at me again soon. There he goes. There we go, into fire. I got one blaze rod. That looting is very helpful. One blaze rod is enough to go home and make a few uh, potions. More uh, specifically than just saying potions, fire resistance, because that would be a lot easier to go ahead and get more blaze rods. If I had fire resistance, I can come back here and find a uh, spawner so I'm going to go back home and will use my brewing stand that I have to make those potions. And yeah, this is a very successful trip to the nether. I'm very happy about that. Now I just got to take another spooky trip home. Thankfully, I have made it home from a very spooky trip to the nether for the very first time here in Hardcore Season 2. I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode because it is over now. I can go ahead and take off my pig repellent and put on my regular diamond helmet that still needs to be, that I still need to finish 
uh, fully enchanting all of this stuff exactly the way I want it to be enchanted. So if you would like to see me finish doing that, I will be doing a live stream after this video is uploaded at 10 p.m. EST on Tuesday. So go ahead and watch that live stream later if you would like to and thank you all so much for watching this video i am so happy we made it out of the nether safely so i can see you next time goodbye